Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 4 from Working with Health IT Systems. Here, I've clicked the order for a referral to podiatry. It says, Consult Order Placed. I'm going to click Next. What it does is, it goes to the next required reminder in this patient's file. If you are over here, if you look to the left where my mouse is, if you started with diabetes, you would resolve the diabetes reminder. Then it would take you to the influenza. Then it would take you to pneumovax. Then it would take you to the diabetes retinal exam. Because I clicked down in here, it's doing the same function. But normally, when you do your assignment, you'll be staying up here in the red alarm clocks. It is saying that the next guideline is to order a creatinine value. So I'm going to go ahead and click this creatinine value. Now if I continue to click Next, it would go on and on, but for best practices, this is what a clinician would do. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to finish out now. So let me click Finish, and it's going to say, Am I, meaning me, am I the doctor for this encounter? And of course, I am. I'm going to say Yes. And then, what is this doing? If you look over there in the bottom left-hand side, it's actually very busily, you can't see it because this one box is blocking it, but it's actually processing the orders. Now see what it does. Again, workflow support here. Remember, I had to order a creatinine value. So now it comes up automatically with the ordering sheet and says, creatinine, it's blood, it's serum. You want it routine or do you want it stat? You can choose whatever the value is, Collection date and time, of course, is today because it's STAT. And then I click Accept Order. The principle demonstrated here is that the right thing becomes the easy thing to do, instead of requiring to get up and fill out additional forms. What it's going to do is order, and remember the podiatry consult? Here's the consult right here. You have to put a reason for request. If you accept order without, it will come back and say you have to put a reason. So I will just put that he is diabetic, which is why the reminder fired. And it's routine outpatient. I'm not going to put a provisional diagnosis in there. I'm just going to say, accept the order. And you can see again, what it's doing is, it's processing the order. What has happened is that in this resolution of this reminder, it has put the data that you just entered. Here's the pH 2 scale. Here's the pH Q 9 scale. If you scroll down, here is the foot exam for diabetes. It says the consult order was placed, and it really was. And here is the creatinine test, and the lab order for creatinine was placed today. What you want to do, I think for your assignment, is to highlight and then to copy this, and then paste it into your homework. What I also would advise that you do is check into the orders to make sure that it really got done. So I'm going to click over into the order, and sure enough, there's the creatinine blood order, and here is the podiatry consult order. I will sign in here, Dr. 1. And say OK. So at this point, what remains to be done is to sign the lab order as well. I can see it's blue. I will right click and say sign. My signature, of course, my digital signature, is Dr. 1. And now that lab order will also go from unsigned to pending, as you can see. What this has done, or what this demonstrates, is really workflow support. So it made the right thing to do the easiest thing to do. And it did that by not only providing the series of reminders that needed to be done that were based on gold standards, it also provides the clinician the opportunity to do that right at that very moment, without having to go look for papers, and without having to struggle to figure out how to open up and order something additional for this particular patient. It's very integrated. It's a wonderful example of workflow support, and clinicians appreciate this very, very much. I believe with your assignment, then, you need to do a screenshot to turn this in to show that the orders actually did show up from the resolution of the reminders. You can do print screen by hitting the print screen button on your keyboard, or use Snagit or some other type of software program, and then paste that into your homework assignment and turn it in. Now, remember, for this particular assignment, 
You also have a written description that you must give, so please make sure to check what your instructor has given you to make sure that you complete the entire assignment. And with that, we are finished with Unit 4.